All right, so ketone, secondary amine, H plus catalyst. So we have three things. If we see a secondary amine and a ketone, we should think in our heads, enamine. Now, don't maybe need to do the full mechanism for this, but of course we know that the first step will be protonation. I'm following protonation. Right, acidic conditions. That makes this nitrogen so much more nucleophilic, or not, it makes it more reactive towards the carbon of the carbonyl. So these things will add in, and eventually we'll lose water, and we'll get to something, right, so that we've done that mechanism before, and we'll get to something that looks like This. And of course, we also made water, and then the H plus was left over. All right, we'll get something like this. That's enamine. Now, this enamine is very similar to enolates and enols because this carbon, this alpha carbon, is the nucleophile. That's the nucleophilic spot, not the nitrogen, this position right here. So, how does that react? Well, let's say it's shown a nucleophile. One, Two, three, four, five, six. What's going to happen, you can do it in a couple different ways. The lone pair is still in this nitrogen. That lone pair comes down, and the pi bond reacts. And this is really like an SN2 reaction. So what new bond did we make? Well, we made a new pi bond between the nitrogen, nitrogen 5, or nitrogen 6, carbon 5. Carbon 4 is now bonded to carbon 1, 2, 3. We have Br minus, we lost Br. Right. We have a plus charge on the nitrogen. So this is a way to add carbons. We, we learned how to make enamines before. It makes this alpha carbon, carbon-4, nucleophilic, SN2 reaction. We add that on there. Now the last step, this H plus in water, is just a way to take the amine off. It's a way to hydrolyze this. So all you do in this step, so now this will be step three, we take water. And you work on just essentially doing the opposite of what you did when you put the amine on. Now you're taking the amine off. All right? And you should end up with this amine back in the first place.